Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I know my face looks a little bit odd, but um, this is basically the finished product of the testing makeup hacks. So um, yeah, if you are interested and want to find out how this happened to me, <laughs> then please do keep on watching. Um, also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this is the first time seeing me. My name is Steph. I do everything makeup, mummy and clothing related. I'd love you to join. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, just quickly though, I just quickly want to say, just before I jump into the video, you can skip this, this bit if you would like. Um, I just want to say that... I have been feeling it a little bit recently with um, the whole, you know, the, the lockdown situation and with um, myself being a mum of four. My emotions have been up and down. Um, you know, one day I'm perfectly fine and I'm getting stuff done and I feel productive and everything's good. And then the next day or that afternoon sometimes I can literally the slightest thing, which shouldn't set you off crying, it will set me off and that will be it. I'll just be upset and, and, and over emotional about absolutely everything and feel down on myself. I'll put myself down about the kids and not doing enough work or, you know, I'm stuck in the house and I feel a bit emotional talking about it, to be honest. And I know that a lot of people, um, you know, we all have our own struggles in our own different ways whether you, you have children, whether you don't have children, whether you're working, whether you're not working. Um, I know everybody is feeling the same. Um, I'm very lucky that I do have a supportive family and I have supportive friends and my husband is supportive and helped me, um, you know, to cope. He did take the, ah, bear with me, speaking of kids, there's one knocking on the door. One moment. I guess so. Where was I? Yeah. He uh, took the kids out for a couple of hours for me, which just gave me a little bit of respite um, to just get in the bath, just relax. Make sure that you're making some time, you know, even if it's at night time when the kids have gone to bed, if you can't do it any other time, some time for you to just relax and just, you know, be be calm with yourself. <laughs> whether, you know, whether you have children or whether you're not, whether you're working, whatever it is, make sure that you are doing that for yourself. Make sure that you talk to people as well. It is so important to make sure that you have someone to talk to, anybody, whether, um, you know, I'm quite happy if you do follow me over on my Instagram, um, please, you know, pop a message in there. I'm happy to talk to anybody. It, just someone to listen, you know, family, friends, whoever, doesn't matter how you're feeling and how silly you might think it is, please do talk to somebody because it did make me feel so much better when I spoke to somebody and when I just, you know, even just putting it out on Facebook and saying, you know, I feel like crap. Is there anybody else that feels like crap as well? And, you know, when other people are like, yeah, I know how you're feeling. I understand. I'm here. It is um, so, so important. And yeah, I just wanted to say that because um, I have really been feeling it the last week or so. And I just want you know people to know that they're not alone you are doing amazing um you know don't worry about school work and stuff like that too much don't overthink it everybody is you know having their own struggles and trying to just get through this the best they can and um yeah please do talk to somebody if you are struggling that's all i wanted to say sorry if it was a bit rambly let's get into the video right so like i said we're going to be testing some Instagram hacks out today. I know some of these are quite old ones that have probably been done lots of times before, but I just scroll through. So for the first one, I'm going to be doing eyebrows. Now, what they do is they take some foundation, squeeze it on, and then put foundation over your eyebrows. Oh, oops, that was a lot. Which Seems a very odd thing to do, if you ask me, but we'll go with it. Just slap it all over, like that. Feels weird. And then, I'm going to use this palette that I've got from Revolution. It was one I got quite a while ago. Um, Iconic Fever it's called and it was only £4 
Loving bargain. Um, and I'm going to try with, I think, this shade. Is that too dark? Or maybe, maybe this lighter one here. Mm, what do we think? The darker one? I think I might go with the darker one. We've not got, I've got kind of in between those two, we'll, but we'll go with the dark one. And then you basically take a, a brush and slap it all over your eyebrows. Like this. Oh, would help if it went on. I do need a bit of work these colours, but for £4, what do we expect? I'm just going to put it on my knee. Oh God. Oh good God. <laughs> I now have hairy slugs for eyebrows. <clears throat> okay, take it back. You didn't need that much. Just needed to get it on the brush. And I think because of the sticky base, it feels quite wet. It's it's sticking to it quite well. And we just slap it all over like this. Not worrying about too much about the shape or anything at the moment. And then with a oh, it's all over my leg. Baby wipe. <laughs> I feel like have you seen there's an Instagram filter that um I saw not too long ago with lots of different eyebrows. I look like I've got that on. And then you just oh it's gone on my nose. Wipe round and wipe the shape that you want. Wow. Why did it look so bushy? I don't understand. <laughs> the next step after that is to go. I've not got. I've got a flat brush somewhere. Oh, it's a bit messy. I might clean it quickly. Is to go around with concealer, which I've never ever done with my eyebrows. But we're going to give it a go for the sake of this video. Um, I'm just going to use the inflammable more than concealer concealer <laughs> from L'Oreal Paris. Um, I think I'm just going to put it on this brush just to make it easier if I can. I've got the brush in this hot. And then go round and right so for me eyebrows are a failure like a massive failure they just look too bushy even if I got the you know I got the thingy in a Thinking them down on <laughs> the baby wipe um, and I brushed them down and stuff and they still I mean no <laughs> right so the next one moving on we're going on to foundation next well I say foundation basically what they do is they get a oh I'm just gonna pop some hydrate um, primer on by revolution just gonna prime my face quickly before I quickly. What she did was she got where do my lighter what now though yeah she got a, a light colour and pop that like here onto the eyes which are being a lot and down the nose Dotted over the forehead here. <laughs> Across the chin. Um, where else would we want it light? I suppose we'll put I'll put the darker colour on. 
she got like a darker colour and was like putting that across the forehead here and then like down here underneath down this side on the on the nose <laughs> I'll be shocked if this works and then she just went ahead I don't know whether to use a sponge or a brush to blend it in oh, I think I'm going to use my sponge because that's what I normally work with um, I think I need a bit of this maybe under here uh, and then she just went ahead and blended it all in so that's what I'm going to do I mean I've seen people use lots of different colours for this but these are the ones that I've got so it's this is blended it should I use a brush shall I use a brush on this side um, it's dried really really quick this has super quick so it's hard to it's quite hard to work with I'm not gonna lie I mean the brush just seems to be wiping it off look I've got a big patch missing there doesn't look like the girl looked like I can tell you that for free <laughs> the girl looked like it was effortless it looked like you know she'd contoured her whole face and everything in one with just these few dots I mean did look potentially better on this side with the brush but now I've um, brushed it in the forehead doesn't look too bad I think maybe if you place them a bit better and blended it a bit better potentially could could work but I think personally I would stick with my foundation that I normally I'm just going to pop it over my eyes that I normally would use and the way I would normally do it it has kind of worked on this side I can see like kind of contoured it I just think I look really, really pale now. I think that light colour was just way too light. I'll stop looking at my bushy eyebrows. <laughs> I was looking in the mirror and stuff. I could just see bushy eyebrows. <laughs> right, so the next hack is for eyeshadow. Um, I've not bought an eyeshadow palette over. That's helpful, isn't it? We'll just have to use... Well, I've got this James Charles one that's just on the side. So I'll just have to use that one and basically I used a spoon put it to the eye and then use the spoon to create a cut crease but I said like this spoon covers my entire eye maybe they use a small spoon and just put it down like that but we'll see so we'll get a collar I'm not sure how to hold it at the same time is this right? Does that look right? That would be my socket, wouldn't it? And then go across the spoon. Although, to be honest with you, I'm not sure why you would need to use a spoon. You could do this without a spoon. Oh, it does give you a nice line, though. I'll give it that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh no. It, it has given me a nice line. What I might do is I might dip off camera and just finish the rest of the eye look and then come back and see what you think to it. Because it has given you that nice cut crease line, hasn't it? Although spoon but um I don't know I'm quite I'm not 
I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to finish up the rest of my eye. I'm going to do this eye the same. And then we'll come back and see what the what the verdict is. So I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I've gone off camera and fixed the rest of my eyes now. Um, they're not the best. I've kind of brushed them a little bit and you can tell. But um, I think really that line there, I think it worked really. It sounds daft, but I'm not mad at that at all. I think if I took more time to do my eyes properly, um, that wouldn't be... I wouldn't be too bad. I'm not, like I say, I'm not mad at that at all. Right, the next uh, one that I have is actually for highlighter. Um, I personally don't use a fan brush for my highlighter, but I saw this and I thought, yeah, we'll give it a go. Basically, it's to get a fluffy brush like this, get a clip, pin, bobby pin, whatever, whatever you call them, and then just slide it Ooh. slide it across if I can get it across and it kind of makes this fan shape <laughs> sort of um, I'm going to use my Sofax palette and just pop it in it up a little bit and then go across Ooh. I'll poke myself with flipping the pin. It's made quite a straight line. <laughs> and my pin's popping out. Just buying a fan brush like this. Although, like I say, I'm not a, the biggest fan of them. Huh, not the biggest fan of the fan brush. <laughs> Simple things in life. But they do make it a bit better, a bit more blended rather than just a straight line like that. But, you know, it ain't too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and pop a little bit of bronzer on. I don't know where my other... Ah, yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of this bronzer. A little bit of bronzer on underneath. I don't actually have a hack for this one. I think I used a bit too much there, but never mind. Now, the last... Oh, no, I've got a couple more. Not the last one. The next one I'm going to do... Um, I just thought this would be fun to try. I don't think that freckles will particularly suit me, but I've seen so many people try and do these faux freckles in lots of different ways. So the way that I saw someone do it was, uh, I'm going to use the lid of the bronzer and she basically scraped a bit of bronzer out. Scraped a bit of bronzer out into the lid. Don't know how much to use. I think that'll do. Like this. And then used some fixing spray. So I've got the Maybelline New York Lasting Fix spray. And sprayed that in. I think you need mulch. And then with a little brush, I have a brush here, fluffy brush, dabbed it in and then flicked it off. God, it's like I'm going to flick it in my eye. Flicked it on your face. Oh, on your face. Is it working? Can we? Oh, I feel, I'm going to have to close my eyes. I'm flicking it in my eyes. Need a bit more. I can feel it splattering on my face, but I don't know if it's actually. Making a big difference. Oh, I can feel that. That's a bit more. Sort of brush. But it just looks like, you know, like if you've gone past someone in the car, I don't know if you can see it on camera as well. Can you see it on this side here? Um, if you've gone past someone in the car, no, yeah, you're walking and someone's gone past you in the car and then the, the, the mud's just splattered up from the wheel. That's what it looks like. Doesn't look like freckles at all. I mean, even if you change the colour, maybe you could do it with a lighter colour, but it's just so, it's splatty, it's not like freckles. So, that didn't work, can't lie, slightly disappointed about that, kind of wanted to make a faux freckle work. But like I say, if you do have any ideas that I think will potentially work better, please do pop them down below because I'd love to see them and give them a go. 
Right, so the last one is lips. So, um, this banner to overline my lips, I can't find it. Um, and like I say, I'm not one for doing lips really. I kind of forget about my lips because I'm not a big, I don't know, it just feels funny on my lips. <laughs> but we're going to try and just do, so these probably aren't the best colours either, but we're, we're going to give it a go. So, basically you go on the outsides, I think this is right anyway, on the outsides with a darker colour, like that. And then, filled in the middle with a lighter colour. I actually don't think these two colours together are too bad. And kind of blend them together. Oh, what a mess I've made of that. <laughs> I didn't realise how far off I've gone on that side. We'll just get a bit of a wipe, clean that up. Use this contour shade, and then basically what they did is just went a little bit in here. Oh, I don't know if it's the right shade. And underneath the lip here. That definitely makes that bottom lip look more plump, doesn't it? I think if you can get the right shade and blend it in properly, not like a tool like I am, make it look like a moustache. <laughs> okay, if you can blend it in properly, maybe not the top bit. I think the top bit needs highlighting, really. I think you're better highlighting the top rather than, because you kind of want it to stand out rather than... I've messed that up, haven't I? <laughs> oh my lord, I, I've given myself a mozzie. This is not going well at all. Yeah, so you go on the top lip with the highlighter that I've gone over. I think the bottom though, it's definitely made the bottom stick out more. And I think it has worked. I think it, I really do think it has. I think if you did it better, I think we'd perhaps come back to this. I'd love to, because I'd love to try out different ones and have a go with doing it in a different way. Um, the lips don't go with the eyes at all. I do apologise about that. But the idea of it with the blending and stuff, that I think is really, really nice. If we got the right colours, we spent a bit more time on um, getting the right shade and everything, I think you could make your lips look a lot plumper and um yeah i think it could look really really nice i think it's, it's just that i've just used the wrong shades and <laughs> not gone entirely well um i won't be keeping this look on um i mean i've got massively bushy eyebrows the spoon thing kind of worked i didn't i'm not mad at that at all the face um, potential for it to work if you did it properly like if you used a brush rather than a sponge and maybe place the um, colours um, a little bit better then yeah I think that's got potential to work uh, lips have definite potential to work the faux freckles mm, no they didn't work at all and the eyebrows obviously didn't work at all but um, yeah it was it was interesting to test it was fun to test these out I do like watching them um, and I'd love to do another video like this if you did enjoy it. So please do let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, if you've tried any of these hacks, if you have all the hacks that you would like me to try. If you'd like to see another video like this, then please do let me know. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.